Hey guys, so I am already interrupting my regularly scheduled 12 month what is shoe banded up to video blog schedule with this this thing, this repeating theme that I have noticed showing up these pa just this past week. I got a new job. Actually, I, it's not so much a new job. I, the clinic I was working at transferred me to a different clinic. And so I've been doing event work at my local mall. And I'm a fairly, I'm a smiley person. I'm genuinely happy to see people. I like people when I'm not closing at a different store, which is an entirely different tangent that we're not going to go on right now. Yes. Moving on. So my mom and I had this conversation and then I've had the same exact conversation with a co-worker that I only recently met and another co-worker who I graduated fr from school with. We went to school together for massage. See, I... How do I want to put this? I was that kid who everyone was my friend. And I don't mean the kid who, who everyone was a potential friend. I mean, I've never even met you. I just looked at you and you're my friend. Like, I was that kid. And so when I smiled at people, and this has carried on today throughout my whole life, when I smile at you, I am genuinely happy to see you. I am genuinely happy that you are living in this world. I understand that this is a hard concept for a lot of people to make, and putting this out on the internet, this is going to be probably so something that I get bashed on, insulted, and yelled at about for whatever reason. But that's okay. You see, when I was a kid, I was like a puppy. Like, you could be absolutely terrible to me. You could be the most worst person in the world. You could... I use the analogy, you could kick me in the face and I would still be okay with it. You would still be my friend. I would just say, no, it's okay. You're having a bad day. I just happen to be in the way. It's okay. We're still cool. We're still friends. I've kind of, I've more or less grown out of the you can pretty much be abusive to me and I'm still going to consider you a friend's phase of my life. But I'm still ridiculously forgiving. And as a result, doing marketing work for massage, for this clinic, I give free massage, free five minute massages and I smile, I'm polite, I, well, I greet you. You'd be surprised how many people pass up a free chair massage. But then I also get the weirdos and the creepers who try and take my profession into a bad place. And I don't ever see it that way. Even, they could be blatantly hitting on me and I'm still gonna smile. Saying, and when they say, no, I'll enjoy it too much, and I'm not, that's okay. It's a massage. You're supposed to enjoy it. Completely bypassing the I will enjoy it too much concept. And so... This conversation has come up several times that I'm too polite and I'm too nice. And I don't think that's a... When, when did be, being polite and smiling and greeting people and wishing them a good day or a good afternoon or hope or wishing them well hoping that they get that they feel better when did that become a bad thing really can i'm i can't really wrap my head around this because these are my genuine feelings i genuinely wish a complete stranger that i have met for all of 5 seconds have coexisted with for all of five minutes and will probably never see them again in my life I still wish them well I still hope that they have a great day it's the same at the pet store I work at I then while my customers may drive me up a wall I am genuinely concerned about their animals even when it's people talking to me about fish which is what I know the most about I am genuinely concerned about their fish. I am genuinely concerned when they come to me with a question or a problem. I can't always answer it. I can't always help.
but I do direct them to somebody who possibly can. Is that really so wrong? Anyways, uh, long story short, I'm a human puppy. I like people. I like people a lot. People don't understand. A lot of people think that's kind of creepy, that I will smile at you and be polite and considerate and help you if you drop something, or just offer a help to random strangers. I do. I will randomly help weirdos in Walmart. I love weirdos in Walmart. I love hobos. I specifically go to the city so I can feed hobos. I buy a foot-long Subway sandwich knowing full well that tiny tiny me is not going to be able to eat that whole sandwich. But I buy the sandwich, I buy cookies, and I buy chips, and I buy an extra drink. I eat what I'm going to eat, and then I give it to a hobo. It's what I do. It's, um, it's something I've done for as long as I can remember. So, yeah, there's a little insight to the life of a shoe bandit when she's not film cosplaying, hanging out with her friends. The face you see if you run into me at work, that's me. That's not a professional front. That's me. I'm genuinely that happy. I'm literally am dancing around my kiosk in the mall. I'm dancing and I'm singing and I'm having a grand old time because I am happy. And I'm not even happy about the fact that I have a job. That does make me happy, don't get me wrong. I'm very happy that I have a job in my field. But that's not why I'm happy. I'm happy because despite all the weird stuff I've gone through in my life, uh, despite almost dying on numerous occasions when I was a kid, yeah, I, I, another story, another tangent, we'll get into that, I'm sure, especially now that I've got my, my new camera, but I'm just genuinely happy. I'm happy to be here. And I hope you guys will be happy to be here, too. Oh, here, we're gonna have hugs. Hug time. Oh, that's a good hug. That was a... I love hugs. Hugs are fabulous. Now, I'm gonna see about that Esmeralda sleeve that I've been ignoring for about a month now. Maybe. Let's get at least get it pinned. I might even work on a new corset. I don't know. I'll probably go to sleep. Yeah, I'll probably just go to sleep. You could ignore my my talk of being productive. I'm, I'm not going to be productive. Who am I kidding? I'm not. I'm nowhere near going to be productive. You work as many hours as I do. No way are you going to be productive at the end of the night. Yep. I haven't even made my bed yet. Sad. I've been up since 7 a.m. It is now... 11 p.m. and I still haven't made my bed. Yep. That's how much I work. Alright, well. Bye guys.